Wondo works on crafts like baskets and cloth dolls. Her five-year-old daughter Hia plays and braids hair. I really like this work. If you're stressed, it helps. Also, I have a daughter. She's here and I can't work somewhere else. I don't have any family who could watch her. I also have an injured leg, so this is my only work. Like most of the women here, she is an asylum seeker from Eritrea, who's been in Israel for more than 10 years. Salam Abraham, a mother of three, says the community center Puchinata is important to her. I feel like it's my home. I didn't really have friends, and here I do. I can talk about what happened to me, about my problems. Many of the women were robbed or raped by Bedouin smugglers on their journeys from Africa to Israel via the Sinai Desert, says Sister Aziza, an Eritrean nun and co-founder of Kuchinata. She counsels the women and finds that the coronavirus pandemic is triggering PTSD memories of the traumas they suffered more than a decade ago. These people, they pass through Sinai, and in Sinai, a, a lot of things happen to them. And in this corona time, it triggers a lot of suffering, especially the threat of death, the threat of uh, getting not to make it. So uh, the corona brought up these feelings. If I get my, uh, if I get the sickness, how with whom my children I will live. Asylum seekers from Eritrea and Sudan have been in a legal and social limbo for the last 15 years in Israel, which has not agreed to grant them refugee status. While their children are allowed to go to school, they do not receive government assistance or medical care. The situation is even more difficult for the women, many of them single mothers. So these women who are the most vulnerable of the refugee uh, women uh, around uh, Tel Aviv, also from other places, we empower them. by We don't give them, but they make things in order to earn money. So they make crochet, it's a psychological and uh, uh, spiritual and um, um, everything for them is social. The Kuchinata Center sells the handcrafted products, including the recent addition of face masks made from African fabric to protect against the spread of corona. It also aims to expose Israelis to the difficult life of some 35,000 African asylum seekers who are living among them. Supporting is not only buying a notebook or a basket. Or Supporting is many ways, is to be part of, is, uh, is to be in front of the government or in front of municipalities of the, the places they live. So I have, I have to say that not enough knowing about this in the Israeli public. Most of the asylum seekers say they don't want to stay in Israel permanently, although they've been here for years. But with the pandemic showing no signs of abating, they are more concerned about staying safe than anything else. Linda Gradstein for VOA News, Tel Aviv.